good, Lucy. Oh, Lucy, it's good, good to see you, dear. How did it go? Well, not good, Amanda, but I'll tell you about that later, okay? Oh, I'm so sorry. Ah, uh, let's see now. Uh, I believe well, you've already met Ariel, haven't you? Oh, yes, Lady Ashton. It's very, very nice to see you again. You too, and I'm very sorry to hear about your husband. Ah, oh, well, thank you. Uh, and uh, this is Catherine Delafield. Ah, oh, hello. As you know, I must tell you, I just love your Mozart and Tchaikovsky that you recorded in Salzburg. That I'm wearing out the cassette in my car. It is absolutely <laughs> fabulous. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. It is one of my favorite pieces. Well, perhaps you might be willing to play it at our fundraiser. Oh, I would love to, but I'm afraid it requires a full orchestra. That could be a problem. Of course it does, mm. but you know something, Amanda and Lila, with Lady Ashton and with Catherine Delafield, I don't see why this shouldn't be on television. What do you think? Well, I think it's a wonderful... Wait a minute, I'm getting another great idea. And I'm also getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, never, never. You have a wonderful idea. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Well, now, what about your cousin? Ah, you mean Colton, Colton Shore? Yes, yes well, didn't he have a television show? I mean, I understand that he was quite the celebrity, uh, or at least locally. Oh, yes, he was. He was quite a sensation. I always enjoyed his show. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very hard to imagine him doing something like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Trust me, I grew up with him, and he, he'd do it. I, you know, I could tell you things about him, anything you want to know. <laughs> well, maybe we should have lunch sometime. Well, I would love that. It must be very nice. Um, Catherine, tell us, are you working on a new album or, or maybe a, a concert date or, or both, perhaps? Well, I am trying to do both right now, but it's a, it's a battle. <laughs> well, how so? Well, there's been a big mix-up and practicing has suddenly become a major problem. In what oh. way? Oh, well, I have a cottage when I practice here in Port Charles, and my real estate agent misunderstood my instructions and rented my cottage out. Oh. I'd sue the realtor. Oh, and, and evict the tenant. Oh, I wish I could do both, believe me. Unfortunately, my tenant has the law on his side, and he knows it. I'm sure you all know him. He's poli Police Commissioner Robert Scorpio. Oh, Robert, of course. He's a charming, utterly charming gentleman. Yes, he's charming. I always carry my appointment book with me. It has my whole life in there. Well, I'm sorry to be so scatterbrained, but uh, I'll have to let you know my schedule when it's in front of me. Whom shall I call? Oh, why don't you just call Lucy, and she'll get in touch with us. All right. Thank Listen, you. I hope we can spend some time together doing this. I think we must know a lot of the same people in Europe. <laughs> I think we do, too. That would be fun. Yeah. Well, well, now, if we've all finished... I must go and dress for dinner because I'm meeting Edward at the club and he gets positively military about my being on time. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been lovely having you all. Oh, yeah, oh, this is so much fun. A pleasure as always. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, do you ever hear from Penelope and Terence? You know, Sunwise? they're in Budapest. Can you No. no. I don't think guys and i gotta tell you huh? i've never cooked two dinners in one night for my family or anybody else radical hey we should have bought that other grub over uh well look at this place double bill i mean um scorpio labor you get two pie rolls hmm. is a double bill someone like a a double feature yeah something like that could you would you stop fussing would you go and eat your own food? oh i forgot the coffee oh right look just sit down you've done enough let me get that oh. thanks hey. Hey. He's getting to be a better guy. Better than what? And get the coffee, please. <laughs> hey, watch that. Hey, listen, coffee. come here. How did the little secret project go today? Hey, pretty darn good. Wait, pretty darn good. Terrible. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, Catherine said I was doing great. Mm -hmm. And Daddy will be real surprised. Yeah, amazed. He's going to be wowed. How do they get on those two people? Hmm? Oh, they fight all the time. Oh, pretty oh. good. Hey, I think they're cooking. You think so, really? Uh -huh. Yeah. Wait, why don't you uh, stop gossiping and just eat your food? Well, we're just concerned about Robin's dad, that's all. Oh, sure, no, you're not kidding me for one minute. You're just matchmaking. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Anyway, they act like honey, you and Daddy when you're joking around about serious stuff, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, but yeah. I don't think Daddy really likes her yet. No. <laughs> Well, uh, sorry to interrupt. <coughs> I'll have something good. Ah, oh, you took long enough anyway, didn't you? Yeah, well, the coffee was a bit cold. I had to give it a oh, blast. Oh, man, you're boiling my coffee? Yeah, I'm it's boiling great. you yeah, up. It's yeah. fun, yeah. Hey, yeah, watch your oh, talk. Yeah. Hot, hot. Uh, did I do something wrong? I'll get it.
sorry to interrupt you. I just left my appointment book here somewhere. Ah, here it is. That's it? What? That's all you came for? Yes, that's all I came for. Well, it's a long drive back to town. Maybe I can uh, get you a drink, you know, um, gin or tonic or hot toddy or curdled milk or uh, warm water. I don't think so. Oh, sorry. But one thing oh. about the portrait, I, uh, I was being pig-headed just to prove a point. What point? Uh, it doesn't matter. But I'll take it back to the townhouse. Um, I've sort of reconsidered. I figure, hey, how much trouble can I get into getting undressed in front of a painting? Okay. Good night. <laughs> 